Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali and it is baking season. And before we get rolling with the pumpkin and the apples and all those wonderful warm things, we're gonna remake a classic that I have not made here in probably over a decade, and that is a good chocolate chip muffin. This is like the ultimate recipe for chocolate chip muffins. They're so good. If you have had my ultimate, like best blueberry muffins ever recipe, then this will seem very similar to you without the crumple topping. Um, it's just phenomenal. It's the best base for muffins and I'm thrilled to share it with you. The only things I've done just a little bit different is I have added additional flour just to make sure I had plenty to give me really beautiful dome tops. Um, and then just a little bit of butter with the neutral oil. And all I'm doing right now is taking flour, baking powder, and baking soda and salt, and just giving it a stir. Another thing I've done differently is that regular chocolate chips are in there, don't you worry. But I'm also going to add some chopped baking chocolate. Chocolate chips have a lot of stab stabilizers in them, which means it keeps them from melting and getting really gooey, and it keeps them from dispersed throughout your chocolate muffin really, really well. Baker's chocolate, doesn't. They will melt and get so delicious. So I just like to take some of it. I like to use a semi-sweet and giving it chopped just like that. And then I'm going to add it right to the chocolate chips. And make sure that you add some flour to your chocolate chips or whatever chocolate you're using. Stir it in there so that the chocolate will disperse evenly throughout the batter. I have the oven preheating to 425. We're going to start high and then we're going to lower the temperature, but just start it at 425. A muffin tin lined and ready. I'm just going to go ahead and chop up some more chocolate. Go ahead, add the eggs in there and the sugar. Give it a whisk to start to combine. Now, I've chosen to do I've chosen to do neutral oil like a vegetable oil and butter in this recipe simply because I had them both out. I tested it with both all butter and all oil and it works just as well. You just need a little bit more than the original recipe called for, for the blueberry muffins anyway, because chocolate has no moisture like blueberries do, like fresh blueberries do. So the batter definitely needed a bit more of it. I'm gonna add those right in. Oil, make sure your butter is cold after you've melted it. And a good splash of vanilla. Get that in there. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. And stir to mix. Flour mixture and buttermilk. You're going to need buttermilk for this. It makes all the difference in the world. And if you don't want to buy buttermilk or you want to make these and you don't have any on hand, simply take whole milk you know, skim works just as well. And then add some lemon juice or vinegar to it and let it sit for a bit. And it will essentially give you the same result. Get those mixed in. Now, if you've noticed, I've switched from a whisk to a spatula and I'm getting to the point now where it's just about, the flour is just about all the way mixed in. And that's good. You don't ever want to over whisk or over mix a muffin or a cake batter. You want to mix it just enough. This is the point where I add the chocolate mixture. I'm going to fold it right in. Now notice the batter. Notice how, yes, there are chocolate chips running through, but there is chocolate running through the entirety of the batter. And that's exactly what I want. I want every single bite of this muffin not to be a vanilla cake and then boom, you get hit with some chocolate chips every now and then. I want it to be unmistakably full of chocolate. I want it to bite into it and you immediately know there's gonna be chocolate in there. And then just take your batter. I use an ice cream scoop and fill her up. For a little crunch, just take a little sugar. You can use raw sugar or regular sugar, whichever you have. Pop that on there like so. Now I'm gonna pop these into the oven. That I messed up a little bit, it's okay. At 425 for five minutes, and then I'm going to immediately reduce the oven temperature down to 350 and keep them in there for 10 to 15. Um, when you turn the oven down, 
You don't have to wait any specific amount of time before you start timing them. The second you turn it down to 350, you can start counting down 10 minutes and then look at them. If they're still a little under done by testing them with a toothpick, you can just keep them in five more minutes. So I'm gonna pop these in and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. These are the epitome ha, 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 of perfection. Do you see why we add two different kinds of chocolate? Yes, I'm bringing it open for you because I want you to see. See that right there? This is why they are the best chocolate chip muffin you will ever eat in your life. I'll put my name to that, my reputation to that. 10 out of 10. Mmm. With our in the kitchen account for the rain recipe, you will love them. Mmm. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.